A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Wishing to determine the truth about why Paul was being accused by the Jews, the commander freed him and ordered the chief priests and the whole Sanhedrin to convene. Then he brought Paul down and made him stand before them. Paul was aware that some were Sadducees and some Pharisees, so he called out before the Sanhedrin, My brothers, I am a Pharisee, the son of Pharisees. I am on trial for hope in the resurrection of the dead. When he said this, a dispute broke out between the Pharisees and Sadducees, and the group became divided. For the Sadducees say that there is no resurrection or angels or spirits, while the Pharisees acknowledge all three. A great uproar occurred, and some scribes belonging to the Pharisee party stood up and sharply argued, We find nothing wrong with this man. Suppose a spirit or an angel has spoken to him. The dispute was so serious that the commander, afraid that Paul would be torn to pieces by them, ordered his troops to go down and rescue Paul from their midst and take him into the compound. The following night, the Lord stood by him and said, Take courage, for just as you have borne witness to my cause in Jerusalem, so you must also bear witness in Rome. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial song, Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. 
Therefore, my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body, too, abides in confidence, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Alleluia. 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 Uh, we've, we've been talking about the ascension of our Lord Jesus Christ to heaven and his prayer that we all be one. We already talked about that the ascension of the Lord is not the end of his uh, presence in us for he is the Holy Spirit when he went back to our Father in heaven. It's not the end of his presence to each one of us. The ascension is our Lord's uh, final departure uh, in his uh, stay here with us from his friends on earth who continue to celebrate and hope that we will be together again when he comes back and proclaims that he who spent his life in this world, in Jerusalem, in Nazareth, in Galilee, um, achieved the word the salvific work that he was sent to. 
And we as followers of Christ, we continue to, um, to pray and always follow hope that in the future, we will be with our Lord Jesus Christ again. So this, uh, uh, the Feast of the Ascension is going back to our Father in Heaven, gives us a glimpse of that destiny that awaits all of us. If we follow God's commandments, we will be with our Lord Jesus Christ in heaven. Christ has gone, we hope to follow. Once our earthly journey in this world is also over, for no one stays forever in this world, it assures us that there's a place for us. It's, it assures us that the longing for the fullness of life, uh, which is deeply imprinted within every person, will now be fully realized. The final words of, the, of our Lord Jesus Christ to his disciples, he said, I am with you always. Go teach all nations, and it's no longer confined to a bodily presence, for he will be with us in a new way through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life. Now that his earthly mission is over, he entrusted the continuation of his ministry to all his followers, to all of us. Uh, we be the hands and feet of Christ to continue the mission that he started, so that we be one when our time comes. We stand. And now we pray for our church, for our community, and for ourselves. As we continue to pray for the intentions of our Holy Father, we pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayers. We pray also for the special intentions of Melissa Rodriguez, of Jane and Simon, of Martin and Fritzi. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. We also pray for healing, for Shane, for Mike Sola, for Lenora Kess, for Sally Tomola. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. As we continue to pray for all men and women and the military and their family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And for the repose of the souls of Grace Oli, Rosario Roas, and Papa Ulysses, father of Stila, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. And in the silence of our hearts, let us pray for our own personal special intentions. As we continue to pray also for all our personal experiences and internal, that we all be protected from this deadly virus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. We pray also for all our medical workers, all the frontliners, and all those who are sick with the coronavirus. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. At all these prayers and intentions we ask, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy creatures. Graciously sanctify this gift, O Lord, we pray, and accepting the oblation of this spiritual sacrifice. Make of us an eternal offering to you, true Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God. For the Lord Jesus, the King of glory, conqueror of sin and death, ascended to the highest heavens as the angels gazed in wonder. Mediator between God and man, judge of the world and Lord of hosts. He ascended not to distance himself from our lowly state, but that we, his members, might be confident of following where he, our head and founder, has gone before. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every land, every people, exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God hosts. Heaven and earth are full of your glory, O Son in thy eyes. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O Son in thy eyes. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Gather with Francis, our Pope, Jaime, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, her chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have peace to throughout the ages, we be married to be glorious to eternal life, and we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And I the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we hear the same. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, O Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be For all those who are watching this live streaming and cannot receive Christ in the Holy Communion, please join me in this spiritual communion prayer. In union, dear Lord, with the priest of every altar of your church, where your blessed body and blood are being offered to the Father, I desire to offer you praise and thanksgiving. I present to you my soul and body with the earnest wish that I may be always united to you. And since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually to my heart. I unite myself to you and embrace you with all the affections of my soul. O oh, let nothing ever separate you from me. Let me live and die in your love. Let us pray. May the mysteries we have received, O Lord, we pray. Enlighten us by the instruction they bring. And restore us through our participation in them, that we may merit the gifts of the Spirit through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless everyone, Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.
Our mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Have a blessed day, everyone. You too, Father. Tomorrow we'll have a benediction and adoration from 3 uh, p.m. to 6 p.m. So